And the University of Pennsylvania is under fire after President Liz McGill's comments at that congressional hearing on anti-Semitism earlier this week. Governor Josh Shapiro is calling her responses shameful. Amid the growing controversy, there are more calls for her to resign, to be fired, and to reevaluate the Ivy League school's policies. As ABC's Andrea Fuji reports, McGill is now defending herself in a new videotape response this morning. This morning, the presidents of three of the most elite universities in the country are facing calls to resign after tense moments on Capitol Hill Tuesday in which lawmakers accused them of not doing enough to crack down on anti-Semitism and hate on campus. Do you believe that type of hateful speech is contrary to Harvard's code of conduct or is it allowed at Harvard? It is at odds with the values of Harvard. Can you but not say here that it is also... against the code of conduct at Harvard? We embrace a commitment to free expression, even of views that are objectionable, offensive, hateful. It's when that speech crosses into conduct that violates our policies against bullying, harassment, Does that speech and not cross that barrier? Does that speech not call for the genocide of Jews and the elimination of Israel? Congresswoman Elise Stefanik also grilling the president of Penn. Yes. I am asking specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. The backlash was swift among alumni, students, and donors demanding action. Pennsylvania's governor called Penn President Liz McGill's remarks unacceptable and shameful, urging the Board of Trustees to convene. In response, McGill posted this video last night. I was not focused on, but I should have been. The irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. Meanwhile, at Harvard, President Claudine Gay released this statement, saying there are some who have confused a right to free expression with the idea that Harvard will condone calls for violence against Jewish students. Those who threaten our Jewish students will be held to account. This controversy is far from over. The U.S. Department of Education is already investigating seven schools, including Harvard, MIT, and Penn, for complaints over anti-Semitism and Islamophobic discrimination on campus. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.